the best balanitis treatment for babies. Hello. So if you're a mother of a young baby or a toddler or a child that has balanitis, then please stay with this video because I've got some simple treatment for you that always works and gets rid of balanitis. So first of all, what is balanitis? As you know, so if that's the penis and it's covered in a loose skin uh, or a flexible skin and it's covered up over the end like that, unless it's been circumcised, this foreskin covers the penis. And what happens is your child has got a fungal infection. 99% of the time, your child has got a fungal infection and the fungus is breeding inside of the foreskin because it's warm. It's dark, it's moist, and there's plenty of food. So it's warm, it's dark, it's moist, and there's plenty of food. The food being the skin. So it's not about personal hygiene, and it's not your fault. There's nothing you could have done to prevent this. It's just a naturally occurring inflammation in nature. Now, there's about a 1% chance, this is very, very, very slim chance, that it could be a bacterial infection. But it's almost certainly not. It's a yeast infection and it can be treated. Now, by all means, go along to the doctors. And what your doctor will do one of two things. They'll do a test, maybe. Or they can just tell by looking at it that, that it's a yeast infection. But if they do do a test, that's fine. They'll confirm that it's a yeast infection. If it is bacterial, they'll give you antibiotics. And that's another saga and another story for you. But 99 times out of 100, it's a yeast infection. And they will give you a cream that looks something like this. I'll hide the brand name and they'll say, put some of that on your child's foreskin in and around. And it's a powerful antifungal cream. Now the problem with that is, it's not very good. Just not very good. Um, it doesn't always work. And then it, it tends to reduce the inflammation and reduce the pain. And if there is any slight bleeding from a crack or anything like that, it will reduce that. But as you stop using it, then the, the, the fungal infection tends to come back. So, and doctors know this. So then they say, well, we'll give you a steroid cream. Now, it's bad enough that me as an adult would start to apply a steroid cream to the delicate skin on my foreskin. But it, as a baby, it's the, the baby is still growing. Your baby, a child is still growing, a toddler. So you don't want to be putting, in my opinion, you don't want to be putting steroid creams or steroid creams, however you pronounce it, onto your baby's penis. Because who knows what steroids are going to do. They're very powerful chemicals. So there is an alternative. Years ago, 12 years ago, um, we began treating babies and children and grown men with balanitis, which is the inflammation of the foreskin. And again, it's the same thing. It's warm, it's dark, it's moist, there's plenty of food, and it, it grows there. But there's no need for steroid creams. What you need to do is kill the fungus off on contact without harming the rest of your immune system. So... We've developed this formula, Balanitis Doctor. It's 100% organic plant extracts. You put just a simple, just a few drops. I put a little dropper in the, in, in, in the bottle so that you don't have to, you only, you only need a couple of drops like that. I don't know if you can see that on the, just a couple of drops. You put a couple of drops, it's a clear oil, very pleasant smelling oil, you put it onto the penis, onto the end of it, it'll kill off the fungus on contact without damaging the delicate skin of the penis or the foreskin. And it works in about three days. You apply it three times a day, certainly with a child, a youngster, a toddler, baby. Put it on for three times, three times a day, and you'll see all the difference. And then you can make it part of the of the child or the baby's health routine, just put it on once a week, just to prevent, as somebody's 
with our immune systems. We're not always the same. We've not grown up and finished and a baby's not finished. A baby's growing through a, a period. So there are times when a baby's uh, immune system is weak. So you just apply that until it becomes stronger again. And it's the same as an adult. If you're an adult and you've got balanitis, just use it three times for three days. That's usually enough to get rid of it. And then apply it once a week just to kill off any fungal infection until you're feeling your immune system is stronger again. And that's it. Now, there is a link. You, probably, you might want to know the ingredients and all of that and the prices and everything. Have a link. Have a look at the link below this video. Click the link you, you sent through to my website, and I've been on the internet since 1992. You can read about me and what we do. We'll send that out to you straight away. It's an urgent package. It's discreet package. You'll get it. Get the instructions. Basically, the instructions are straightforward. Just put a couple of drops on, wherever you feel. Even some um, babies or children. People with balanitis can have a yeast infection uh, between the legs and they can have it around the anus and it's no problem. Again, you can apply that and it will kill off the yeast infection on contact and again, between the legs. Okay? So click the link below the video. We'll get it sent out to you straight away. If you're happy with everything, we'll get it sent out. And the, the last thing before you go, if you, I'd like to share more of these videos with you. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, yeah, I'd like to share more of these videos with you, so please subscribe to the channel, I'd like you to do that. But I would like to say as well is, uh, I'm just in the process of making a load of new videos and I'm showing you how to make this for yourself, alright, so that's in the near future, so subscribe so I can stay informed with you, alright, bye for now.